Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm with Fetter Software. And today we're going to go through standard clinic workflow when the clinic starts with an invoice. We're going to start the training by creating an appointment. And I'm gonna do that by clicking on the schedule the time I want the appointment created. In this case, I'm going to choose the canine wellness exam appointment type. I'm going to um, enter the complaint, which is the exam with vaccines. And I'm going to enter the client here, select the patient here. And you'll notice that as I selected the client, there's some information about the client that popped up on the top, so alerts. Also, one related to the patient um, that the patient needs restraint. Next, review the information with the owner, make sure everything is still accurate. It is. Select next. And we're prompted for a confirmation email. Um, and a reminder message. A um, couple of notes. In this case, it's a same day appointment. I don't need to do a confirmation. However, if I kept it, clicking save here would automatically send the information for this appointment to the owner. So I'm just like no confirmation. In addition, creating a reminder. So let's say this appointment were out in the future and you wanted to create an, a reminder for the appointment. You can modify the reminder text here. So if I wanted to, uh, let's say it's a surgery appointment. Let's say, please ensure that Moffy doesn't eat or drink for 12 hours prior to appointment. There. And if I were to click save, this reminder would be saved with this additional text. I'm not going to. It's a same-day appointment. No reminder is needed. And with that, I'm going to click save. That adds the appointment to the schedule. Now, next step, I'm going to check in the appointment. The check-in process in Better is important, particularly in this example, as I will show you now. Now you'll notice, since I'm checking in the appointment here, um, this appointment type has been configured to automatically include a medical note. So I know for sure that the canine wellness exam is going to use the annual canine exam medical note, which is a medical note template or a SOAP template that I created specific for my canine, realm, canine wellness exams. I am not going to check in with a bundle. That's not part of uh, this particular workflow because in my clinic, the receptionist does not know what's going to be done um, in the appointment. We'll leave that to the tech and the doctors to decide. Next, billing, we default to new invoice. And I'm gonna select save. Now, when I select save, you'll notice that the appointment status has been changed to check in. And if I click on the colored part of the appointment, you'll see that a medical note has been created and an invoice has been created. Now to start this appointment, I'm gonna click on the medical note. Here's the medical note. Now again, I'm being prompted um, that this animal bites without warning, we need to restrain. The first column of the medical note includes all of the information about the patient. Second, includes information about this particular appointment. And third, includes information about vaccines. In this case, um, all the reminders are, uh, are still valid. The vaccines are still valid. Down below, you'll see that the medical note layout includes some default text. This was set up in the medical note template. So if I wanted to go in and make any changes, it's very easy. I simply come in um, and make the change. Just like that. Um, a side note, if you're using a mobile device with Vetter, um, say a phone or a tablet, you can bring the medical note up on that tablet, tap into the field, and when that virtual keyboard pops up on your mobile device, you'll see immediately to the left of the spacebar there's a microphone icon. Tap on that microphone icon and start speaking the text that you want entered into this section of the medical note. When you're done speaking, simply tap the microphone and your voice will translate into text in the medical note. It works pretty well. Um, I recommend you try. Okay, so if I scroll down, you'll notice that we've got um, our objective section with TPRs. I'm gonna enter the weight. The weight for this appointment is gonna be 40.7 pounds. Um, diagnosis. So let's say in this case, the patient presented for diabetes and I need to add a diagnosis. I'm gonna do that through the add diagnosis option, and I'm going to include um, 
diabetes mellitus, and I'm going to select it as chronic, and I'm going to select save and done. So now I have a diagnosis on the medical note. Um, in VETR, if you add a diagnosis to a patient and the diagnosis is open, every subsequent medical note will automatically include this diagnosis. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see that there's a section called the client communication section. This is a special field in the VETR medical note. If you enter information into the client communication section, a client communication record will automatically be created to include that content. Also, a communication record will be added to the patient. So the implication of this field is that you have actually spoken to the person, the owner, about what you type into this field. Now in this case, since we, um, we have a diagnosis for diabetes and we want to convey to the owner um, some information about this, uh, we might want to include it um, into the client communication section, and I'm gonna do that here. So I actually have canine diabetes content that I created um, as a content snippet under templates. Um, and I'm going to add it here by clicking on the medical note tab, selecting add template content, and I'm going to add it to the client communication section, and I'm gonna choose canine diabetes. And when I do that and I select add, I can go to the bottom of my medical note and you'll see that that content is now included um, right in the section and you can see that it fully populated. So it's a really easy way to get information um, into a medical note uh, quickly. Uh, so content snippets, they're pretty handy. Okay, so say the medical note is finished. We've entered all the information that we needed to enter. Um, now at the same time the doctor would be entering text into the medical note, um, the tech may be preparing um, basically the charges for this appointment. We're gonna do that through the records tab in the medical note. So I'm gonna click on records and I'm gonna create records first via bundle. So I'm gonna select bundle, annual exam canine. It's gonna to go to the invoice that was created today for this appointment and I'm gonna select next. Now my bundle, um, I, I basically set it up to include everything that I would possibly use for a canine wellness appointment, say one in 10 times. So you can see that I've got both of my rabies vaccines in this case, Moppy's gonna get a three-year vaccine. Same thing with the distemper. Um, Bordetelli, yes. So my three-year lepto, yes. Um, open parasite, yes. Uh, don't need a CBC. I will do the nail trim and I will do gloves. The doctor has two hands, so the quantity is two. Now, if there were changes in quantity that were required, you could simply come up here and change the quantity. Now, I'm gonna select create. And when I do that, all of the records that I left selected will be created in the quantities that were specified. So we'll see here that under the records tab um, in the medical note, these records are going to be created like this. And you'll notice that they're all tied to the invoice uh, 497. So um, now that the invoice has been populated with information, you'll see that there is an invoice link directly in the medical note. Now, if I hold down my, the control key on my keyboard, actually, I'm on, a, I'm on an Apple computer right now, so I'll hold down the command key. Um, but if you're on a Windows computer, you hold down the control key and click on the invoice. What well, watch what happens on the top of the screen. You'll see that the invoice opens in a brand new tab. Now, when I click here, you'll see that I have the ability to view all of the charges in addition to the outstanding balance. Now, going back to the medical note is easy. I could either simply click on the tab on the top or I could close this, it takes it right back to where I was working. So it provides a really quick way to basically see something else and then go right back to where you were working. I'll do it one more time. So I'm gonna click on the command key on my computer. Again, Windows computer, you click on the control key, hold it down and then click on the link. When you do that, pops open in a new tab, do the quick review you wanted to review, make any changes you needed to make, close it back out, you're right back to where you were. It's a handy tip for uh, being able to work in multiple places uh, at the same time. That's that. Another note, um, when you're working in VETR, um, it's recommended that you use your medical note as kind of the container for all of the work for an appointment. What I mean by this is, you've got your medical note here. You've entered all of your information. You have all of your records that are tied to the medical note that you've entered within the note. So you've got your note, you've got your records, 
And you can also include things like attachments. Um, so if you needed to take a picture of um, this animal in your appointment, you could. So you could simply click on new attachment. And um, again, if you're using a mobile device, a phone or a, or a tablet, the first thing you would see in the new attachment dialog is the option to take photo or video. The camera will appear and you can take a picture directly into the medical note as an attachment or a video. You could do the same thing. So um, another, another handy feature um, when using a mobile device with Vetter. Now in this case, I'm not gonna take any pictures or take any videos. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new letter. In this case, I'm gonna use a template that I created before called the discharge letter. And this is a, a letter that I created specifically to get information uh, from an appointment out to the owner uh, quickly. Now in this case, I don't remember if I set it up to be a recipient that's going to be getting the information or the owner. So I'm gonna specify both. Because we do break that up um, in terms of the fields that are available in a letter, because the recipient is not necessarily the owner. When I create a new letter, um, I always specify both just to be safe. I'm gonna click save. Now when I do this, you'll see that the discharge letter appears. Um, it takes all of the information from the patient and puts it into um, a nice, easily readable format that can be provided to someone else. Now, if I wanted to make a change to this letter that I just created from template, I simply click on the edit icon. And for instance, the microchip um, was a field that, uh, that doesn't have any data. So I'm just gonna remove it and I'm gonna click save. Now, when I do that, the microchip field is gone. Now I'm interested in seeing what this looks like on my clinic letterhead. I simply go up to the export option and I select print letter. This pops up the letter in a brand new tab and it populates the letter um, below the header for my clinic. So you can see that everything appears here with the doctor's signature. Close that out, takes me directly back to where I was working. So um, I finished um, the medical part of my appointment. Now I'm going to go back to the schedule and I'm gonna check out this appointment. So now the patient and the owner are back at the front desk, the receptionist is talking to the owner, and we're gonna go through and we're going to actually check this appointment out. Now in my clinic, the receptionist is responsible for um, doing upsells. So basically um, asking the owner if they need any food, asking them if they need any more flea medication, that sort of a thing. Kind of doing a last minute check to see if there's anything that the, uh, that the patient might need that the owner wants to buy. Now, again, I'm gonna use that handy trick that I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna hold down the command key on my keyboard, again, control key on a Windows computer, and I'm going to open up the invoice in a new tab, and I'm doing it from this dialog. So I can actually see the invoice here, and if required, the, the receptionist could review this with the owner one more time. In this case, the receptionist is gonna ask the owner, hey, you know, your dog's looking a little thin, you think it might need some food? Yeah, yeah, I think so, I think Moppy needs some food. Okay, cool. So let's get you some food. And I'm gonna add food to the invoice directly through the items tab, new item. <clears throat> and I'm going to add food. And it's gonna be the canine food bag large, $35. And in this case, we're gonna sell two bags. So $70, tax is gonna be applied. Um, let's see, I am going to assign it to the medical note from today, and I will create a record. So I'm gonna select next, and save and done. And I've just added food to this invoice. Owner's happy, dog is happy, everything's great. I'm gonna close this tab, takes me directly back to the schedule dialog. So the reception's done the upsell, now it's time to charge them out. We're gonna do that through the checkout dialog. Now, the reason why I didn't do it through the invoice just then is because you have additional helpful features when you check out an appointment through the checkout dialog. So again, the appointment information is open on the schedule, and I select checkout. Now when I select checkout, you'll see that the invoice shows for payment. You'll also see that any available credit is automatically showing up for application. Now in this case, I happen to know that this owner has two deposits uh, for future work that are sitting out here waiting to be applied, so I'm not going to apply them to this appointment. In this case, the invoice is 312.53, and the credit is $10.68. So netting the credit against the invoice results in a balance of 301.85. Now, in this case, the owner is gonna pay cash. 
So we're going to choose cash as the payment method. And he doesn't have the 30185. Instead, he's going to pay $320. And you'll notice that we automatically calculate the cash back. Now, let's just say that um, maybe your clinic is running out of cash. You did a lot more cash business today than you anticipated. And you ask the owner instead, hey, do you mind getting a credit on your account? The owner says, fine, that's no problem. We'll be back again soon, so that's fine. Just put the credit on my account. Cool, thank you. All right, next. Um, and this is probably the, the, the best feature of the checkout dialog through the schedule. You can actually print out all of the needed documents for the appointment all in one go. You simply click into the open space and select the, um, and select the documents that you wish to provide to the owner. Um, now you choose how you want to provide them down here under export. Do you want to email them to the owner or print them? Most of the time you're gonna to wanna to email if the owner has an email on file. In this case, I'm gonna print just to show you the way it looks. And also in my clinic, the, um, the receptionist is responsible for giving out the rabies tag. So in this case, we're gonna type in the tag. Three, four, five, there we go. So there's the tag number and we're going to print um, all of the documents. So just to recap, using the checkout dialog, you have the option to take payment and apply any available credits. Um, you also have the ability to print any documents or email any documents that you want to provide to the owner um, or to the recipient on checkout. And um, you have the option here, whether you want to email or print and to enter a rabies tag. I'm gonna select checkout. Now, when I select checkout, all of these things happen in addition to the status of the appointment changing. So you'll see that here is the rabies certificate for Moppy, includes all of the information we just entered, also a vaccination certificate, um, the invoice with the paid stamp, and um, the medical or the discharge letter that includes medical information from the appointment. So if I wanted to print this, I simply go to the top of the screen, right hand corner, select print and you'll see that your default printer appears and you just send it to the printer by clicking print. I'm gonna cancel because I don't need to print. And I'm gonna close this out. And the appointment is complete. The client is leaving happy, the patient is leaving happy, the receptionist is happy, all is well in the world. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day.